now we are going to study about the cranial nerves so first of all we will study about the 12th cranial nerve that is the hypoglossal nerve as it is the 12th cranial nerve and it is also an motor nerve motor nerve is a that nerve i will mention it here first of all motor nerve it is very important to know that hypoglossal nerve is a motor nerve so it is it is very important to know but now we will know that from where it will originate the hypoglossal nerve where it will originate so in the medulla oblongata there are the structures known as the olives in the side and pyramids in the middle so it arises between the pyramid and the olives in the medulla oblongata so between the pyramid and the olives arises the hypoglossal nerve as we can see in this netus diagram clearly pyramids are in the middle and olives are in the lateral side and in between them we can see the hypoglossal nerve very easily as now i have already written the path of the hypoglossal nerve from where it will originate and from where it will go to the effective organ first of all it will arises arises in the medulla oblongata as the hypoglossal nucleus or also known as somatic motor nucleus from here it will goes to the hypoglossal canal in the occipital condyle in the hypoglossal canal as you can see here nerve the hypoglossal nerve in the hypoglossal canal in the part of the brain which is known as occipital condyle now as it crosses the occipital condyle or the hypoglossal canal then it will go downwards downwards and lateral lateral to the internal carotid artery but it will passes through the through a surface this ganglion it is a ganglion it is known as superior cervical sympathetic ganglion superior cervical sympathetic ganglion so it will passes laterally to the internal carotid artery that it is clearly described here in the red part that it will passes laterally to the internal carotid artery and which is a part of the common carotid artery so as we can see the path clearly from the hypoglossal canal it will move downwards and it passes through the superior cervical sympathetic ganglion and laterally to the internal carotid artery then it will go to the intrinsic part of the tongue that is the back part back intrinsic part of the tongue and give its branches there and also some of its branches like in the in the hyoid region also it will give many branches one more important point there is one inferior root of the ansa cervicalis An ansa cervicalis is basically a structure which is formed by the radix inferior and the radix superior so radix inferior is a inferior branch which is given by the cervical plexus that is c1 c2 c3 from the cervical plexus it will come and the superior branch that i am drawing here it will be given by the hypoglossal nerve so the hypoglossal nerve will give, give the radix superior branch that is the superior root of ansa cervicalis and these both radix superior and radix inferior they will both form a structure in the middle this is known as ansa cervicalis ansa cervicalis it is very important to know that it is the part which is formed by the hypoglossal nerve and the cervical plexus so they both give branches to form ansa cervicalis as you can clearly see here i have written a uh, flow chart of the hypoglossal nerve so first of all it arises from the somatic motor nucleus between the pyramid and olives in the medulla oblongata then it leaves the brain via hypoglossal canal goes downwards and laterally to the internal carotid artery so it is very important to mention here then it is divided into various branches at the hypoglossus muscles so we will talk about that branches like it will give some of it branches became part of the facial nerve running to orbicularis oris muscle so it will give some branches that will become the part of the facial nerve and which will give branch to the orbicularis oris muscle
Second, it will some branches that will enter the inferior part of the tongue and innervate their muscle. That is the intrinsic muscles of the tongue. Also, I have already mentioned earlier one or of its branches radix superior descends and join radix inferior that is from cervical plexus and both will form ansa cervicalis these ansa cervi this ansa cervicalis will innervate the muscles under the hyoid bone and muscle geniohyoidus that's all for the hypoglossal